they do like that. <laughs> that's got pollen in it as well, you see. It's got pollen substitute, it's why it's yellow. And it's fondant, so it's sugary, you know, so they're kind of looking for something like this. <laughs> I quite like it, yeah. So. I'm just, just give them their final feed before the winter, really, because after this, they're going to be on to like solid foods and stuff. Have, see, look, they're already going into the, the the patty. That this had um, this side here had liquid inside here. It's all dried up, but they're having this solid patty. That's almost gone. So maybe tomorrow or Sunday, bring up another patty and just give them that. So they've still got some. I never think when I'm going to give them food or when I'm going to just give them solids. I, I can't, can't decide really. I'm tempted just to give them. If I've got any left over of the liquid, I'll give them that. So, see what the. See how it is. See, so they're going for the pollen patty again. That's empty. No, not empty, is it? It's got sugar in the bottom. That's the problem now, you see, is that this stuff is so thick when you get broken up in the middle of it, it's harder for them to, to have. But later on, about a month from now, I'll take the cone off and they would just literally just have the, um, the sugar. I'll fill this up with, with white sugar, take off the cone and they can just eat it. I'm putting it there so I can just mix it back in again and put it back in. This is a two to one, a one to one mix. So it's like one liter of water to one kilogram of sugar. And I've got 10 kilograms of sugar in there. It's obviously 10 liters of water, but it'll soon get used. Of it is, as you go down it, it gets less and it gets lighter and lighter. That's it, sweet. I'll leave this trap off it. Maybe later on we'll just come off, get any left over, just top them up. What is it? Problem is, if you feed them, that's really heavy. If you feed them now, they may just be honey down and not giving the queen room to lay eggs. This might have a load of big numbers because this had a new queen. This might be just a new queen was there and she's just so damn good. They're very active. I probably will open. Let's have a look. Look at that. That's, that's a really good one. That's one of the new ones that I got from UK Honeybees. It's a really good queen. So that's done. I'll tidy up when I come back. That's that one there done, to be done. What's that rock behind you? Look, they found it. <laughs> Did this stop the wasp from getting, still getting in the wasp first, so that stopped them dead. Now it's a big hive. But as you can see, they still haven't got through that. But have they got through? No. So if you give them too much room, they, they can actually obviously go down and they can... They can drown in it. I'm quite surprised they didn't actually have more. 
It's a very big hive. Just, I'm surprised. Just, you know. No, they don't even actually have more if they want it. So, you know. Feeling I might be taking this off again, you know, but let's see how it goes. Yeah. Huh. What do with this? I think what I might do is to use that, pull that into here, just let them have this as open feeding, just put there's some stuff floats on top so that will drown. It looks like I'm on the edge because these ones here have got through all of theirs. That one at the end hasn't. So it could be that they don't want any. The other ones have been putting it in. So maybe it's just time to go into solid fondant. Quite likely. It's going to get cold soon anyway, so makes sense. Now then, if I get them <coughs> some Let them finish off the, the honey in there, or the syrup. If they want it, they'll have it. If they don't want it, they'll leave it. Um, but it'd be good. It'd be good to let them have it if they want it, you know? Why are, they, why are you crunching up the... Well, what I don't want to do is to all go in there and die because they'll drown. So if I put that, they can then sort of go onto the onto the, the mat, if you like, and just eat through it and then fly off. They won't drown. It's probably the best. I found in the past it's probably the best thing to do. Otherwise... You know, it's, it's horrible when you sort of come back and find hundreds of bees drowned in your, in something you've sort of done to try to help them, you know. That's it for now. I think next week I'll start on the more on the solid fondant feed. But I don't think they're going to be taking the, the liquid feed down for much longer because it's going to start getting colder. It's now mid October. And I think the weather's due to change. And looking at over there, you've got them on the more, they're actually scavenging the more solid stuff anyway. So I think it's time. Um, because they will decide where they don't want it. But I just need to be ready for when they don't want it so they don't go without. The hives all feel quite heavy. So they've got resources. Just got to just try not to get them through the winter because in the winter you don't really look in them very much. So, we'll see how they go. All you can do is just feed them up. Make sure there's room for the queen to lay eggs. So they've got room, food. Then just hope it's not too too bad a winter. We'll see. That's it really.